Hey kids. Okay, well today we're going back old school, old time, old old song. Um the wedding song where there is love. Um this is being done. Sorry, my dog's making a noise down here. Um this is being done uh this is Peter Paul and Mary. Uh, but in this particular version, um we're watching um Gosh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Um, Noel, Noel Paul Stuckey. Noel Paul Stuckey. And this is uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. The, they call it the wedding song. Um, but I've always thought of it as there is love. And, and the thing I like about this song is one line where he's saying we're where more than, where three or more gather in his name, there is love. That's the line I like. And um, when I was younger, I used to be a regular churchgoer. Uh, every every Sunday, sang in the choir, head usher, all that kind of stuff. Um, kind of moved away from uh, that kind of worship, congressional worship. I, I find myself... Uh, closer to God when I'm out in nature, you know, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out hunting, fishing, just being out in nature, you know, outside messing with my animals, that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> but this is a, it's a beautiful song. They call it the wedding song because so many weddings use this as uh, the music for their wedding, and uh, and I, I got, you know, I understand that. I understand that. Uh, it's a beautiful song, but um, anyhow, Peter Paul and Mary. The wedding song, There Is Love. something here um when that line really affected me is back in the day when i was a regular church goer and and i have to admit there was some some really special things that happened during my life during those times i remember when my son was born that we um we we went to have him baptized and uh, uh the the minister was asking and you know this who, who stands up for this child and we had already made arrangements for a godmother and godfather and stuff but even so the entire choir which i was a member of the choir the entire choir stood up uh to say they all stood up for this child and that touched me uh, to this very day it makes me makes me tears well up in my eyes and I get all, you know, mushy. Um, but yeah, that that's when I hear that song, that's what I think about. That's what I think about. So Will a man shall leave his mother and a woman leave?
I can certainly understand why. Why is that called the wedding song? Because so many girls want that to be their wedding song. Where two or more gather, there is love. You've got your congregation of people invited to your wedding. And they just bring with them that love. That love for you, for your family. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> I think in so many ways, our society has gotten away from God. They, God, from the schools, from from the businesses, even our government houses, you know, there's people have actually sued, taken people to court because of some religious reference. But uh, here in America, we were um, we were created as a Christian nation, and I think more and more of the problems that we're having is because more and more. We've removed God from our daily lives, and I think we've got to put God back in there. And I think I think Paul here, uh, Paul of Peter, Paul and Mary, um, this is uh, this is his point. I think I think this is his point. But what do you think? That's more important to what I think. What do you guys think? I'm interested to know. Please make a comment. Let me know. Talk to me. <clears throat> Seriously, I would like you to know your thoughts. Please do like and subscribe, ring the bell, and folks, you know, give us a thumbs up. Be good, be careful, take good care of yourself and others, and I'll have more for you in the next video.